more. I think you, you were definitely were giving spin to the ball. So you were definitely spinning the ball, but then you were not pushing the ball forward enough. So then that was what's happening to you. So you need to stay a little bit longer. You, the path of your racket should be going more forward. Instead of going so much, all right, going up straight away, try to stay longer with the path of the racket so it'll be more forward, right? Instead of bringing it up straight away. Okay. That's much better. Yeah, nice one. Good. Okay, good. Try to drop the ball a bit higher so it gives you a bit more time because right now from here, yeah, you're sort of scooping it up, all right? So yeah. give yourself. And I'm just gonna quickly hold it there. All right, good. Maintain the hand on the back. Relax your arm. Good. Yeah. All, right. all right, have we done this before? No. No, okay, cool. So that's what you should feel. Okay. Okay, you should feel like you are using your strings, right, using okay. the friction on the strings yeah. with the ball, all right? Instead of feeling like you're doing this. Yeah, okay. Okay, you definitely want to do that as well. But you want to have the combination of the two because the more this way you go, yeah. the more deeper it's going to go and it's going to go out. So you got to find that balance where you go forward, but at the same time you close the racket at the same time, right? Yeah. That's one. Oh yeah, that's okay. That's a normal mistake. That means you're trying something different. <laughs> Good, so I'm gonna give you a couple of tips that are not really, doesn't follow the sequence of the top spin routine, but it's also think something that's really important that when you guys start working on. And it, what it is, is using body like elastic band. I think we talked a little bit about this, and it's the ability to turn and unturn your body into the ball, all right? So we're not, the way we're gonna create power in tennis is not gonna be by tensing up or forcing our arm to go forward. It's gonna be by using our, our body like elastic band. So what I mean with that is that you wanna use the elasticity of your muscles to create power. So if you ever go to the lake and you go and uh, have a little stone that is flat and you go and make that uh, stone you know, jump on the water. So you sort of, that movement that you do, it's sort of relaxing and loose. So here the same, when you're thinking about doing a forehand, I'm not going from one to two all right, this is me forcing every single part of the swing. What I'm doing is I'm sort of releasing my, my racket at the ball. So I'm sort of letting my hand re free. I'm not trying to control my hand the whole time, all right? There's moments where you sort of control the direction and where, you, um, where your palm is facing, but there's gonna be a moment as well where you can just release your hand into the ball. Now, for that, if you, in order for you to turn and unturn, you need to have enough space. All right, sorry, it's gonna turn this. Oh, yes. So in order for you to turn and unturn your body into the ball, you need to have enough space. So now, think of like elastic band again. So if I'm here, all right, let's say I've, I have elastic band here, I'm pulling it back, or what's the name? The slingshot, yeah? So I have a slingshot, and I get it really, really close to the, to the basket. And I go around here, and I let it go. What would happen to it than if I go here? Which one's gonna be more damaging? This one that I'm here, and it's actually gonna hit, or this one that I'm here? Yeah, the longer one, because it gets to release all the energy into the target. Here the same, think about your body as a slingshot, and if I'm here, there's no power releasing into the, into the target, right, or into the ball. So, but if I drop the ball there, all right, then I'm definitely unleashing myself into the ball. And that's what I want you to think of. Even now, when you're dropping the ball in front of you, give yourself enough room and play around with the range of your body. All right, so don't just drop the ball here because you won't be able, you only gonna have your arm working. If you drop it a little bit more in front, just stand your arm in front, drop it, turn your body, release.